Hey, Vox here. So, got some stuff I want to talk about today as far as I'll really show, like, to talk about investments, some things on the way. I think the Wheel series will return tomorrow. Not going to show any spoilers on that. It's the highest the highs, lowest the lows. You know how it goes. Um, so, schedule, right? This got uh, changed, I don't know, what was the last content? Yesterday? I don't know. The days are blending together for me. Two days ago. So, looking to the 25th and the 2nd, the next couple Fridays, oh, Thursday, sorry, Thursday, and then uh, the upgrades and downgrades of the week after that. So, to let us know, Incognito Series Program with Conquest Showdown in the moments, Tops Now Moments, the next Kaiju event. So, we're getting another one of those Kaiju events, upgrades and downgrades. The crazy thing about this Kaiju event, I don't know if they meant to do it this way. Um, I don't know what they're going to do, but they, they luckily made... Um, this Kaiju series event wins count multiple times. So part two, you could do the five wins over and over. With part one, you can only do it once. So even though it doesn't say repeatable, they made it. I thought it was nice of them to do that, but it might have been a mistake. Now that I, I see that there's like a third event on its way. So done with the program uh, myself. I got a lot of other things to do. The, the offline grind of this game is insane. Uh, do we want to talk about that for a minute? Like to keep up with like offline grind is like a full-time job like even as somebody who does this you know as a job uh yeah dude what the what the h <laughs> there's so much offline content that you know i i, I see people online complaining that uh, you know after done grinding offline they don't really want to play online they don't have like the the, the willpower the the want um and you know i feel for them dude this this is like I play this almost every day of my life, and here's where I'm at on Team Affinity. Now, I'm mostly an online grinder. I do do some... Did I say doo-doo? I do do some offline here, but... Man, these affinities are brutal this year. I, I hope going forward into, like, next year, they make them a little easier for the affinities. I like the affinities. I like the affinities when they're, like... They allow us to play how we want them to play. Like, whether we play online... We can grind and get stuff. And I know, obviously, there's PXP missions and everything. Um, uh, but, like, they force us to, into certain modes um, to really grind them effectively. And, obviously, I could just, you know, get a bot and grind PXP over and over um, and do it that way. But I feel like it's bad game design, in my mind, when you're forcing people to do things they don't really want. And I, I get it, obviously. You know, you can't just give everybody things all the time. But I wish, like they balance out the offline and the online ability to grind for this program. Uh, maybe me just as an online player. And obviously online players, I, I don't want to get back to this fight. We obviously got gifted a lot if you're good at the game. If you're good, if you're if you're average or above average at the game, you really didn't get anything, right? You got kind of screwed on the ranks change, the battle royale change, um, for getting those things uh, uh, non-auctionable now. If you're a god uh, god tier gamer at this game like myself, then yeah, this is great. I can go 24, 12 and 0, uh, World Series, great. But the thing if I make World Series, I'm not actually making more stubs now um, than I did last season if like the cards were like 100,000 like they were for BR, right? Like they, they were never going to go back down to 30K again uh, because of the, the bots they got rid of and stuff and, and some of the changes to the seasons and whatnot. But. It's really not getting that much more by Waking World Series since, you know, some of these cards... Wait, I forgot which one's the World Series one. That one's BR. Are, like, twice the price of, of BR cards or less than twice the price. So I get an auctionable and an unauctionable. That's another BR card. I keep messing up. Frank Thomas is BR also. Um, Kinsler. Right? 280k for getting World Series. But, like, how much would this be if the program rewarded them auctionable? Half the price? So then... Now I'm getting a, a, the same amount of value by getting World Series because he's double the price, we'll say. Uh, anyways, uh, people think like, oh, it would have been 30K again. It wouldn't have been 30K again. It, would, it wouldn't have been. Uh, you saying it would be is about, me, is about as accurate as me saying it wouldn't be. We're both just pulling numbers out of the air. So anyways, uh, not to get off that, I want to talk about investments. Other thing before I got on all rambly case. I, I, I just wish Team Affinities was a little bit more balanced for online players like let offline players you know let them eat let them do their things but man the fact that it's so slow online to get these things done and you gotta play offline game like i just don't have that much fun grinding the game offline and i i understand people do but, but like these things are best when like i'm not gonna repeat myself too much i'll do it one more time these things are best when it it it's it, it rewards you for having fun with the game Okay, that's all I'll say, and I'll move on. 
Let's talk about investments, right? There's live series talk. There's um, uh, stuff in the in the show. Like, there's always a lot of questions around. Should I buy these cards to invest in? Now, I don't like buying these alter ego packs. There's sometimes. Oh, well, obviously you don't buy the packs. Uh, the cards sometimes they are pretty good investments. Like this Crawford's been insane for me, right? 18 at bats. Obviously small sample size. But uh, this is in the event, so all-star. But nobody else has been near as good as Crawford, even on all-star for me. 722, a batting average. But, like, eight out of his uh, 13 hits have been home runs for me. And I don't really – I play, like, Coors, but oftentimes I'm the away team playing at, like, whatever parts, and he's still smacking it out. Um. Anyways, do I like investing? My favorite investments are ones that are at minimum. These cards are not minimum. Uh, now, I'm not sure Alter Ego packs are going to be put into, uh, like, Conquest or anything. They could be Alter Ego 2. Um, so, like, you could go ahead and take the risk, and, and, and maybe when they go out, they go up. My favorite, my, my, my more favorite uh, investment is kind of these cards, right? Because set two captains, they're only from this pack as of now, right? And so Randy Johnson's still Randy Johnson, right? He, I, I would not buy the pack, but you can you can put a bid order in now for twenty seven five zero three and get them. So you can get them three twenty five hundred cheaper from the market than here. Now say these go away and there's no supply of it anymore. I actually don't mind that, right? If the minimum that you can acquire this card for is thirty k, you can get them at twenty seven five now. These are the kind of investments that I generally like a little bit more. It feels a little safer. There's that potential upside. The downside, it's still there, right? His quick sell value is is dramatically below 27K. Um, but I'm not sure SDS is going to come out and give away these cards that they just put in packs for free anytime soon. You know, down the, down the road, obviously, that's different. But not a terrible idea since the only way to acquire them, to my knowledge, unless somebody has found something else that I don't know of, is through this. So once these packs go away, I could see them going up in price over their 30K spot so those are the kind of investments i like live series let's talk about this a lot of people are investing in live series there's been people making coins the, you know obviously you got to get in early now the live series investments are really really crazy um there's some like cards right like who was who was i talking about somebody asked me in chat um keller's at 500 because keller's been having a heck of a year for us pirates but 500 stubs right 500 483 in order to see a return on investment if you invest in keller now You'd need to get them up to, it looks like around 81-ish. I mean, 80s, yeah, these are about 60, so like 81. So we had to go from 77 to 81, so a plus 4 to see a little bit of a return. But like, if he only gets a plus 3, you're going to lose out, right? So plus 4 and more on the next upgrade a week from now, you'll win a little bit. The downside if he gets a plus 3 is still there. So that's why it's a risk. And obviously, you know, nothing risk, nothing rewarded. If he goes up to 82, he goes up to like 700 you could quick sell him for. So it depends on how much of a risk you want there. Other ones, like, um, who is this card I was actually asked about? Um, it was like 900 stubs. I feel like it was a 72. Yeah, Nolan Gorman's at 600 stubs for a, a 73. People expect them basically to 81. Um, again, that's a lot. That is a big upgrade from 73. Um, another one that people really like, it looks like Morel is, is pretty heavy invested. And it's nice. It's uh, The ability to see who the market feels like is going up is kind of kind of interesting because of the buy now, sell now being high. Um, Riznik uh, looks like he's kind of high. Yeah, Cano right here who just let up a run. 880 stubs for a 72. So people are pricing him at like what, an 82, 83? And I think like the best time to invest in these things is next upgrade, right? You're like, wait, next upgrade where they get boost? Why would you invest in them then? Because like, I, I feel like, yeah, they get up here, that's fine, that's cool, but I don't feel like they're gonna give a plus 10 to them, do you? If they do give them a plus 10, great. Uh, stubs to be quick sold and, and made, although 82s are, what's the minimum 82 again? Buy order, two, two, two. 900 so he'd have to get to an 82 so plus 10 to equal his price just about so i actually like you know i would sell on hype on a lot of cards right selling cano at 880 if you got canoes i got one um i would just go ahead and, and uh, take your profit 
depending on what you got them at. You know, a lot, like there's six, 41 orders at 615. And obviously if you get them for 615, you can just flip them to 879 um, and make profit off that right away. But there you go. Mine instantly sold. So people are pretty high on this uh, Cano card. So with that said, um, collections, right? Core collections specifically. I've gotten questions on if these things are worth it. The live series, I, I, I did live series because of the wheel like kind of forced me into it because I just kind of spun it and Twitch chat cho told me to get Sosa and then Twitch chat I think Twitch chat told me to get Jeter too I don't remember how Jeter came about but I just decided to finish it because of uh, I had Sosa done anyways core collection now I could complete it right but I think the better thing like this Seeger card is aight he's aight um, uh, I used the word BR a little bit not much uh, but overall, like, with all the 99s we're getting, I feel like he's, like, fine balanced. I think he's good. A little slow, obviously, for the middle infield. You want, like, speed there to cover the ground balls with those crazy dives. So, Seager's solid. But if you have auctionable cards, some of these cards are kind of kind of insanely priced, right? Player card, 15k. I'm not sure he would be worth, depending on the auctionable cards you have, is worth this. So I think I'm probably going to offload my core cards, sell them 19, 3, 9, 4, and then maybe down the road I'll grab him um, just to take my stubs. Now, whenever I have stubs, Twitch chat, like, redeems make me buy packs. So maybe this isn't a good idea. Being stub broke means it's less likely I'm going to spend it and, and just waste it for being be created but for you being somebody that doesn't get bullied online on a daily basis maybe it's a better idea to just uh, take the money and run now 89 what 8000 is the minimum yeah let's just let's just offload it the only the only thing i will say the o the only thing i can see is a potential stub sale right for why you don't want to list up your cards right now cuz last year and they don't list this on and they've never really listed this to my knowledge um Last year, around this time, end of May, we got our first stub sale. And stub sale, because stubs get cheaper, people buy cards, the card in, the, the market inflates a little bit. So whether you're holding live series cards, whether you're holding any card, it could potentially see a bonanza for all sorts of investors if a stub sale comes out here uh, in the coming week, right? If it comes out Friday, right? And so Thursday content's there. Uh, maybe they drop the stub sale on Thursday and it goes through the weekend. We've seen that happen before. So I think there's a, a pretty good chance of a stub sale of some cool stuff. We got, obviously, don't forget to redeem your 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 free, whoops, your free camo pack um, to uh, honor uh, Arms Forces Day uh, bat skin and stuff. So this is really good for ball players. I think this load, along with the, along with the uh, uh, ball player glitch being patched out, it does look like... Uh, um, People realized how, how dumb ball players are, and I hope we face less caps because caps are the worst part about all the show outside of freeze offs. Um, and if you don't use a cap, like I could see, like I use a cap because, like, if you don't use a cap, you got a disadvantage, but I, not as much of a disadvantage anymore, I will say. Now that the two way glitch is gone. But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Caps, two way glitch is done. Luckily, some people still have it in their lineup. Um, so FYI, if they are, t if you do take them out of your lineup, I'm not sure my wheel squad to not spoil anything. Um, uh, but if you do take them out of your lineup, you can't use the cap no more. Uh, to, to is what people said. So I think that's all I want to talk about today. Hope you guys enjoyed this market Sunday, and I'll see you tomorrow.